Hey guys, this is Star Water Energy, and we are going to do the full moon in Virgo. We're going to tap in for these timeless messages, anything that resonates with you. It is 10.23 Central Time, February 24th, 2024. I do not allow my um, content, my messages to be reproduced and duplicated by fake spiritualists. I call upon Archangel Michael, my angelic legion, to remove any low vibrational energy that might interfere with this message. Please let me be a clear message to those um, are looking for clarity and confirmation please beware of scammers pretending to be me I will never message you guys for readings I am also a victim of public corruption and I'm us us utilizing my gifts to prove to everyone that playing with tarot cards is not just a game you're playing with your life alright I don't know how long this video is going to take, but let's take our time. Anything that is sent to me negative, may you return it back to original sender. Please protect my collective. Alright, so for the first one... We're going to use the Angel Tarot deck. Anything, that's done in the, anything is that, that is done in the dark will be sent back to the light with love. One, two, three, new energy. If you see another tarot, if you see another tarot reader, tapping, tapping the tar uh, tarot decks for three times and saying, you know, saying, one, two, three, new energy. They stole it from me. They stole it from my channel. A lot of these uh, YouTube readers, they do not incorporate psycho-spiritual practices with their tarot readers. They do not. They like to regurgitate information about the narcissists and stuff like that. Um, we are to get out of the karmic cycles tarot is used for a tool to help heal the subconscious and shadow aspect of oneself my social security number was uh, stolen by a Texas law firm Eileen Mackenzie Fowler um, I had to I had to be my own um, detective and it turns out that I'm a psychic detective. And everyone that um, created, anyone that created a blood contract to take me out, you will have your karma. You have no right to be selling me off to an entity, to the underworld, to Baal, to Zeus, to Thor, to any Jupiter, Saturn, any planetary system planets out there you have no right to be doing that as the granddaughter of Kronos of Zeus I say no more you understand that no more do I have to show my face to show my face no more I'm so pretty no more you lost all of these magicians that want to be magicians to get a shortcut I'm sorry but uh, nope and I'm going to repeat this one more time as the granddaughter of Kronos, 
I say enough. We are here to learn, to ascend, and to utilize our gifts for the better. No more touching little kids. No more sacrificing little kids. The only way that we can keep this up is to, I'm putting this up, putting this out on the table and I'm going to demonstrate it in a nicer way so I won't get flagged. When an adult person grooms a child and that child ends up traumatized in a violent way, you don't get to, to attack the child. You will be able to capture that pedophile and use that as your blood contract. The kids and the babies and the infants are off. They're off of. Um, give me one second. Off hands. You, the pedophiles, they're all yours. They're all yours. If you want your underworld kingdom to reign, take care of the pedophiles. Take care of them. Why don't you, you know, do what you want with them for them touching the little kids? Do it. Because without the underworld and the higher heavens, if you continue to go in this circle, there will be no more realms. They will both collapse in the physical and the spiritual realm. That means there will be no you. That means that you won't have a throne to sit on. If you want to keep playing throne musical chairs, buy, have at it. And I'm speaking to the ones that are the bloodlines of the dark ones that are sick and tired of seeing the traditional way of exploiting the light. Why don't you take care of the pedophiles and then you can sit on your throne and go, you know what? I want to learn how to utilize my light and my dark. Teach me. Okay. Well, you need to deprogram yourself first. Utilizing and utilizing psycho spiritual practices in the communities will help a lot tremendously. Rehabilitating between the both realms will help. Because if you continue to take and hijack the souls of the innocent. You will have such a harsh punishment in front of the council. Yeah. I call divine judgment on all of my enemies, all of the corrupted officials, everyone. Oh, yes, uh, we found, we found the bank accounts of Salvador Vela. So it's okay for you guys to find the other branch of the tree, right? And so you guys can find it. But when we are trying to speak against the injustice of centuries, centuries, you guys can't find the bank accounts. Woo, geez, I wonder how you guys obtained the Wheel of Fortune by, by blood, blood money. Think about it. God, the good in himself. Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. This is your last warning. This is your last warning. I don't need the, I do not need the cards to understand that every full moon, that's how you harvest a piece of the sunlight. How do you think the moon reflects from the sun? It boomerangs back. Yeah, science. So this is 
your last chance to be saved, to take accountability of what you did to my royal bloodline. King Ferdinand, Alonso de Estrada, Aphrodite, I was born in the darkness and I pierced through the dark to find my own light and you could too. There is no shame in trying to find mental health therapists. There's no shame. Accountability is the first step. And figuring out that I have a problem, I have addictions at what? At your age? I'm barely 32 and I already know, oh my God, I really do have to grow up. Because at the end of the day, I got me and I'm going to leave out of here with me. I was born in the matrix and I will get out of the matrix by myself. I don't need an external. When you truly find yourself within and know thyself, you are finally free. The emperor, like unto God, political authority, God gives safe travel and protects protects against conspiracies. So I'm a cons I am. So you guys are telling me that I'm a conspiracy theorist, right? Because I, I give you my proof of my genealogy and you guys are still calling me a conspiracy. So when my genealogy connects to Aphrodite, you guys are calling me, uh, excuse me, you guys were the ones that are edit editing our history textbooks, right? These Freemasons will be taken down as hate groups. They are really good Masons out there. And then we have the sun in reverse. The viaphine, viaphine God. Restoration of life protection from adversaries, rabbis, and wild beasts. That's in, that's in reverse. You don't have protection from adversaries, rabbis, and wild beasts. You don't. You don't have protection. And then we have the Four of Wands. God the Savior. Ratification helps one live in peace with everyone the four of wands okay so we got the knight of wands the emperor the sun reversed and four of wands in this um full moon in virgo at 10 36 central time so the next and so the next um deck we're going to use will be, let's see, Wisdom of the Hidden, okay, we're going to use the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed this reading you can go ahead and please uh, email me a reading my prices are in my uh, YouTube by uh, my YouTube description profile Power of the Divine, number seven. As you are gaining wisdom and power, you're realizing that you need a lot of shadow work to do. And I will read from. 
from the notebook as soon as I'm done. What else, Spirit? We got the winged, the winged wise, wise ones. Angelic help, miraculous aid. Number 34. Five, six, seven, seven. We got two sevens here. What's the square root of seven? I don't even know. Uh, you figure that out. Okay, so we got 24, four, five, six. And then we got 42, six, six. And then we got 64, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Six, six, one, five. This is five. someone that follows the numerology six six one five seven seven okay and we got the high lord of gratitude and service selflessness humility conscious action number two once you know that gratitude and service is the highest vibration, nothing can penetrate that. I donate my time to give out these readings on my YouTube channel. I don't do this for, oh my God, look at me. I'm a high priestess and I can do this and that. No, I was called to, to, to do this. gratitude and service, selflessness, humility, and conscious action. What was I talking about before I picked up the cards? I don't need the cards to read. It just gives me clarification of what the energy is present within my energy field. The highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose. You will know the way forward by the still, small voice within. The divine also may answer your call by sending others to help guide you. Challenger. The well watcher comes to let you know that you've run out of steam. Self-will alone isn't enough to make things happen. All, can, all cannot be yours at this time. If you feel you're going nowhere, it's because you're meant to stay put. Willfulness can lead to your becoming like the bull in a china shop, creating havoc as you push forward. Remember the sacred, creative source of the water in the well. Drink some, be still, and contemplate the true origin of power. It isn't you. So drink deeply in the wisdom of the divine and listen to the beautiful music playing along, playing through your life. When you've made conscious contact with your higher power, which is again going back to the third card, conscious action. <clears throat> you can move forward again, replenished and renewed. 
This is an important time to restore harmony in your relationship since you may be temporarily out of tune with another. If there's a power struggle, struggle between you, remember that only the divine has true power and you won't feel the need to struggle anymore. You can rewind that back and listen to it again. The winged wise, wise ones, angelic help, miraculous aid, ally. Always allies and never challengers. The winged wise ones represent the aid of all the angels. When you enter this their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered accordingly to the will of the divine. The power of the divine. That was this first card. This is this is just the energies that are out. And if you don't read this during full moon, Virgo, there's a message here for you. That means you're ascending to the next level. Know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of divine. This also represents divine intervention and the potential of miracles to heal and transform as if by magic. Have faith, whatever your circumstances. Heavenly beings are, are watching over you. The winged wise, wise ones give you a glimpse of the future by offering messages whispered on the wind. These are translated within you as inspired thought, instantly unraveling the past and revealing the present. Beware of the higher consciousness in you. This is a good time to observe your thoughts through meditation. Who is observing those thoughts? That self is king to the winged wise ones. You who have come to help you soar. The high lord of gratitude and service. Selflessness, humility, conscious action. Ally. The high lord of gratitude and service has arrived to help you find your true purpose today. Feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what has been will remind you that every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness. So small actions and selfless service to other, you're automatically placed above your highest path. Whether you're immediately aware of it or not, this presence of this ally lets you know that you're on the correct path to fulfilling your desires. You're also notified that your actions of service and attitude of gratitude will, will yield riches beyond your wildest dreams, as long as those riches aren't the goal you have in mind. Giving service with no thought of return is what's required of you today. This would also be a good time to write a list reminding yourself of all the things in your life and the world around you that you have to be grateful for. If your questions refers, for, refers to a relationship, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person. Truly, they are no friends and no enemies, just teachers along life's journey. Be grateful for the laughter and even for the tears. The attitude of gratitude is a magnet for true love in all forms. Challenger. When the high lord of gratitude and service comes to challenge you, he signals a time for deep self-inventory. Ask yourself if your desires are driving you to become more self-serving. Have you forgotten to help others? I'm going to repeat that again. Have you forgotten to help others? Are you so focused on arriving at your goal or destination that you've become isolated from the ones who care for you? Do your, amb do your ambitions relate to making yourself special apart from others or better than they are? Have you become competitive, envious, or driven? The High Lord of 
gratitude and service challenges you to accept a gentle gift in a form of a new perception of wealth and ambition. There is an ancient saying scrawled on an old stone wall. True ambition is not what you believe it to be. No focusing on winning a jeweled prize, no amount of pomp and circumstance will achieve true prosperity. True ambition is the deep desire, desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of the divine of the divine service to all. You can also apply this to relationships. The impulse to have your own way or control how things will be serves only to push away the one you love. It creates an energy block that repels your desired outcome so that it's far out of reach. Let go and let the divine lead you to the highest outcome. In a tiny still moment of surrender, miracles are born. When you shift your perception in alignment with this high Lord, success will indeed be yours. Okay. So I hope that you can go back and rewatch it. The Healing Waters. We're going to use The Healing Waters by Rebecca Campbell. that you're creating 
that you want, that you deserve. to pause the video so I can get more incense it's, it's by the time that I get to the end of the, the spread I'm gonna have to light up another one so I'm gonna pause it and then I'll come back
soul inquiry how can you answer the call of your soul in the fullest expression today take advantage of your vulnerability and you see how the full moon is out and right now at 1103 central time February 24th 2024 there is currently a full moon right now so you're realizing how you're very vulnerable and you see how the ship is leaving
That's your past ship. That's you being in a new, um, you can say location, in a new, um, uh, yeah, like a new location. your own pentacle pentagram that is a circle of protection of light somebody's a herbalist you might be a herbalist you're thinking about going into the holistic um, avenue and career wise you're cooking up you're real you're you're he okay they're saying you're healing potions you're healing herbs whatever you will make will actually help and heal the people this is confirmation it's going to reach about eight people and they're going to understand yes this is what i needed this is your confirmation one two three four five six seven eight eight candles yes this is your confirmation from 
your life who will not stand up to protect you. It's time to become thick-skinned, to be fully aware, and, and to not be so gullible, and yet try not to act with such caution. Your, for defensive reactions could push the right people away. Although they are opposing forces at play, you don't necessarily have to fight them all the time. Instead of drowning in self-pity, go with the flow. Being aloof and unique separates you from those who would bring you down and is vital for your survival at present. Seal witchy tips. When, when Sedna, Sedna's fingers were cut off, they fell into the water and became seals and other creatures, immortalizing her as the Inuit sea goddess. Seals are dreams and dreams indicate financial business help and assistance. Work with the seal magic to drown your susceptibility to hurt. Cast seal spells to make enemies vulnerable to attack. So maybe you dreamt about a seal. This could be your confirmation. Okay, so
way to co-create with your reality. A way to learn your lessons and to use those tools to create what you want. You're walking towards that portal. Number six. There's like smoke around it. So you're, you're already finally seeing through the smoke and, and mirrors. shuffle the cards you can rewind it back there's no there's no tricks there's no nothing here these are what the energies are for the Virgo full moon February 24 2024 at 11:15 central time the portal and you're just like whoa this feels like a time machine well yes we are in the time machine can you go back to the past and learn your lessons use what you've learned to create a better reality for yourself and for your family Just to 
wrap this up. We're headed towards the end because I'm going to get a gemstone and then I'm going to get the angel numbers for you guys just as clarification. Spirit, what does the 
distracted for a moment i apologize so the angel number is one two six to to finish off this reading let's see what the angel number one two six okay so message 
resonates with you, please follow for more updates. You can get notifications. 126 asks you to understand the value of positive energies. <laughs> what, what was the whole reading about? Wow. Nurturing capabilities. Angel number 126 is a communication from your guardian angels that the road to your success starts with your mindset and thinking. In other words, you need to have self-discipline because you will become anything you want in this worldly realm. More so, every motivation you get will keep pushing you to your destination. Equally, equally, it will help if you were willing to sacrifice in order to win your battle. Let's just see what uh let's just see karma cards what do you need to do to balance out your karma one two three new energy full moon in virgo all signs karma behind you at the drive-thru <laughs> and this actually makes and this makes a ripple effect you see when you pay for a person behind you at the drive-thru the ripple effect begins towards making waves a momentum get another one okay another one one or two two okay
ground yourself to you ground yourself to Gaia, to Earth. If you feel like you are having so much energy being thrown at you and it's and you're just like, oh, this is not I don't why do I feel every time you always have to ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way? That's because somebody's projecting on onto you. So just go and ground to earth. Okay? I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm being drawn they're showing me that the um you see the key right here you've always had the key to unlock the next door the next portal and you were you already obtained the key to enter through right there that's the keyhole right there key keyhole boom